Hey, this is Nick, and I'm back with another Excel tip for you. This time I'm going to show you a couple different ways how you can cross out uh, words or cells within the uh, spreadsheet. So uh, in this example, I have some people and they need uh, the, to pay their rent. So the people that pay their rent, they want to cross their names uh, off of this list. What you do is you could right click and say Format Cells. And if you go over here to Font, so crossing off uh, a word or a cell is called strike through. So if you click the strike through and you can see they are all crossed off. So another way you could select them and you could do the shortcut control five. That would also work. Uh, but I think the easiest thing to do is actually using a conditional formatting rule which will automatically um, cross things off based on a condition. So let's highlight the data that we want uh, to get crossed off automatically. Then we go over here to conditional formatting, which is under the home tab. So let's do new rule. And we want to come down here to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So here we're going to say, click on this cell, if this cell is three equals yes or y y for yes then we want it to be um, crossed out so we go to format with the strike through on and then an important thing to do is that we need to delete this dollar sign so that way the formula goes down to each row There, as you can see, everything is crossed off automatically. So if you were to delete this, uncross this, and put Y, strike through. So again, you can manage all your conditional formatting rules by going to the conditional formatting rules manager. If you need to change them, you can do edit. So let's see what, if you change this, put this back here. Let's see what happens. See if it's all uh, messed up here. So basically, if there's a Y here, if we delete this one here, then they become, become all crossed off. So the formula is just concentrating on this one cell. So that's why we want to uh, go back into here delete this and then it will apply the formula to each um, oops row so if we add another here and yeah actually so these were not in our original if you add more rows you need to make sure your formula applies to the same, you can see it's only grabbing this one individual cell. So you need to go in and check to row nine, then it will work. So that's how you use conditional formatting to uh, make all the, the columns in a row get uh, cross down or strike through. Thanks for watching this Excel tip. Be sure to subscribe for more.